Welcome back to Animals Matter. Our next guest requires very little, if any, introduction. Helen speaks to veteran duck rescuer Laurie Levy about his campaign to ban duck shooting. Laurie, you're well known for your campaign to ban duck shooting. Can you tell us how it all began? I just thought that the shooting of native water birds was a terrible injustice. And in 1986, we put together a small rescue team of 15 rescuers only to go out into the wetlands to challenge 95,000 duck shooters in Victoria. And normally you might say, well, how can 15 people ever be effective against 95,000? But because of all the media coverage that we received, the campaign took off overnight. Each year your rescuers go out into the wetlands rescuing birds and retrieving sick and injured birds. Can you give us a picture of what it's like out there for them? Well, when we first started going out onto the wetlands, it was like World War III. You didn't have any police out there. Uh, wildlife officers were more closely aligned with the shooters in those days. That's changed now. However, it was like World War III. Uh, a wetland could have 10,000 shooters on. Birds were falling out of the sky everywhere. What we did that was different, duck shooting had always been about killing and maiming beautiful native water birds. We added a new concept and that was rescue. We took out a mobile veterinary clinic and all the wounded birds went back to the mobile veterinary clinic where they were treated on the spot and it added a whole new dimension. So the campaign has been successful where in Western Australia in 1990, the recreational shooting of native water birds was banned. In 1995, Bob Carr got into office in New South Wales and banned the activity. In Victoria, the numbers of duck shooters have dropped from 95,000 in 1986 down to about 17 to 20,000 today who are still licensed but only a few thousand of those are still active. And the main reason for the change is public opinion. Public opinion has been the catalyst for that change. The campaign has been running for quite some years now, and as you said, the number of shooters has dropped dramatically. So why is it that the Victorian government continues to announce an open season each year? The BRAC's government has a close relationship with the shooters. I mean, we, we saw the banning uh, of recreational duck shooting in two states. We saw John Howard, after the Port Arthur tragedy, ban semi-automatic and pump-action shotguns. But the BRATS government controls both Houses of Parliament and they control the lower house by a huge majority, but they just don't have the guts to do anything. They don't have any commitment to anything. And in fact, the BRATS government has the same policies to native water birds that the Liberals had 50 years ago under Sir Henry Bolte. So would you say the future for ducks in Victoria is looking optimistic? Very optimistic and, and the rescuers have risked their lives, their commitment and courage over the years has been fantastic and it's because of their effort that the campaigns worked and I would say now the shooting of native water birds will be banned in Victoria and public opinion is bringing it about. So it's only a matter of time now. Thank you so much for your time, Laurie, and we certainly hope that the end is near for this terrible blood sport. Thanks, Helen. Well, let's hope that we see an end to that so-called sport in the very near future. Are you watching, Dad?